What's up, y'all? It's your boy Z Man. Today we are back, man. <laughs> and today it will be the first attempt of the new series I've been telling y'all about. Uh, I call I want to call it Freaky Friday, but we can change that if y'all don't like that. So go ahead and just drop that in the comments. But for right now, it's gonna be called Freaky Friday. So uh, no way, no, 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 no. This idea was not originally mine at all. This was uh, definitely an Inspire uh, series started by the Bates himself. Um, so I just want to give it a try. I just want to do something different. I want to have a few different series on the channel. Uh, I'm, as you can see, I'm starting to do. I'm starting the, the TikTok thing, and I'm trying to start this. Uh, so I'm just trying to switch it up for you. All right. So yeah. Um, Every video that I will be using today, I will have their channels linked in the description. So we're gonna be reacting to some to some to some horror short films. It's, it's as simple as it gets, you know, because you know on my channel I play a lot of horror, so you know, why not? But like I said, I'm just I'm just trying stuff out. If y'all like it, make sure you drop a like and comment. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. First up, we have Llama Arts. Now I'm pretty sure y'all know who 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 the who they are, okay? They make pretty good content. Now, like I said, um, I haven't seen all of their videos, so but I have seen a good, good, good few of them. So I will be going through, just picking out which, just whatever one looks good, which obviously which one I haven't seen already. So yeah. All right, y'all. So the first fit, the first uh, short video we're gonna be get looking into today is a scary vacation story three. No, I haven't seen one or two, so I just, I just picked it up and selected it. Okay. So yeah, let's see what it's talking about. During my holiday, I spent about three weeks in Japan. Oh, I want to go to Japan. It pretty late, so I couldn't check into the hotel that I initially booked. So I booked the cheapest hotel that I could find nearby. Aesthetically, it was quite nice, but it did have easy access to the building, meaning anyone could come in and go to any room. I said no, no, right place. there. Plus, there was no security in sight. After arriving in my room, I ordered some food and watched some TV. I was still pretty jet-lagged from the flight, so I started to get ready for bed. As I was falling asleep, I felt the urge to double-check the door room. just to see if it was locked. I didn't think anything was going to happen, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. About five minutes after I checked the door, I heard footsteps outside. Initially, I thought it was someone leaving their room, but the footsteps started to pick up speed. The sound Dang. started getting louder and louder. I started to freak out. Hope you got that door locked. All of a sudden, the sound stopped. I looked at the light shining through the bottom of my door. Oh, nah, nephew. Person. At first, I thought it was room service, but it was too late for that. Or maybe it was some drunk idiot who was at the wrong room. As soon as I switched my light on, the shadow disappeared. I was confused. Dang, that boy. <laughs> that boy dipped dead. out. That's when I suddenly heard scratching coming from my door. So I immediately turned my light on and shouted, Who's there? After a moment of silence, Who's I heard there? the footsteps slowly fade away. At this point, I was thinking it could be some kids messing around, so I got up, opened the door, and peeked my head outside. I glanced in both directions down the dark and slim hallways. That's when my heart stopped. A man emerged from the darkness and ran erratically towards me. His face was contorted as he screamed, and I could see he was holding a knife in his right hand. As he got closer, I could see him more clearly. He had disgusting uh! hair, his clothes were ripped, and he had cuts and bruises all over. I quickly slammed my door and pressed against it, praying that the man would just go away. After what that boy was hours, booking I it, <laughs> my courage and looked through the peephole. He was gone. I let out a sigh of relief and checked the peephole again. My heart started pumping faster than ever before. He was right in front oh of the door. Oh my gosh. He was wearing a maniacal smile on his face, and all of a sudden he raised his knife and yelled, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh my I jumped gosh. I kept my eyes locked on the bottom of the door as I backed up to my bed. I grabbed my phone and started dialing the police. As I raised the phone to my ear, saw that the shadow was gone. When the police arrived, I tried to explain what happened oh, bro. and checked the security cameras. They almost immediately recognized the man. 
he had been doing this to people for a while now and the police had been trying to track him down for months. After a long night of no sleep, I finally arrived at the right hotel that I had booked initially in Tokyo. That creepy guy was still on my mind, but I thought the chances of him being here were pretty slim so I didn't bother locking my door that night. What? At 12.05 AM I woke up to a big bang next to me. I turned around to see the same guy passed out on the floor oh. with a knife in hand. I was in shock. How did he find me? I quickly ran out of the room and locked him inside. The cops came and he was finally arrested. So he broke in just to Let's fall just on the floor? He's going to be locking my doors from now. Brett, you should already be locking your doors already. What? Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so the next channel we're going to be looking at is Snarled. Uh, I'm not going to lie, their thumbnails are pretty good. So, I'm going to just pick one out. And let's see, what it's, let's see what it's hitting for. Okay, so the next animation we're going to be looking at today is Creepy Japanese Dao Legend. The Curse of... Okiku? Okiku? That's, that's, that's the best I got. Something scary. Snarl. Let's check it out. I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen a few with their videos. Their the videos Menji are good. The Menji Temple in Japan now houses the haunted doll Okiku. This story is inspired by the legend of the creepy Dang. doll. In the early 1900s, the seaside town of Japan was a well-known hub for world travelers. Visitors could find all types of strange and unusual goods in the marketplace. Hold on, y'all. My chair acting stupid. It's time for a new chair. Place, And that is where this particular nightmare began. 17-year-old Ekechi Suzuki was determined to find the perfect Christmas present for his baby sister. Just minutes before his boat was to take him to Hiroshima, he saw it. The most beautiful porcelain doll he mm, ever laid eyes on. I want to say beautiful. In a glass case, standing 20 inches tall, she had shoulder and leg hair that was done up in a traditional Okapa style. Her piercing black eyes drew him in. With seconds to spare, the exchange was made and the proud big brother was on his way home with the perfect present. Uh -uh. On Christmas Day, Ekechi presented the gift to his two-year-old sister, Okiku. She was immediately right. infatuated. It wasn't long before Okiku dismissed all other toys in favor of her doll. She even named the doll Ok. I don't even gotta say anything. Okiku after herself. When her brother asked her why she gave the doll her own name, she replied, Because I am her, and she is me. The two Okikus began to look alike. Their hairstyles and outfits often matched. People would find Okiku speaking to the doll as if the doll was speaking right back to her. But as Okiku got older, her interest began to change. She began to forget her doll. Not all the time, but just often enough that strange things began to happen. There was this one time Okiku went to a friend's house and left her doll at home. Mm. When she returned to her house, her bedroom had been ransacked. Another time, Okiku forgot to bring her doll to a sleepover. When she fell asleep, Okiku had terrible nightmares that a doll was following her with a torch. The next morning, Ugh. Okiku returned home to find a small fire had occurred in her bedroom. Okiku stayed clear of the doll. It wasn't long after that that Okiku became sick, contracting what appeared Ugh. to be yellow fever. Why is she like she getting older and older? A debilitating disease that infected so many people at that time. Luckily, Okiku's doll was right by her side. Being bedbound due to the illness, the two became inseparable again. The house staff couldn't even take the doll out of Okiku's hands to change the bedding. The child and the doll were constantly attached to one another. Whispers began swirling among the household 
that its black eyes were turning the same emerald green as Okiku's. Oh, no. Its cheeks were flushed like a human's, and one of the servants swore the doll had blinked. But Okiku just held on tighter as each day passed. Then one morning, Ikichi stopped by his sister's room. He opened the door to find her in her bed, eyes wide open and eyes black. Her body was oh. ice cold. He tried to resuscitate her, but it was no use. What stood out was how tightly her doll was holding on to her. It made him feel uneasy, but grateful Okiku didn't die alone. The family was determined to bury the doll with Okiku, but circumstances and governmental oversight prevented this last act of kindness. They needed to find another place for it. The doll sat on the family's altar so they could pay tribute to her. Weeks went by and they oh. noticed the doll's hair looked like it was growing. Eventually, the doll's hair reached its waist. Then other strange things began to happen. The lights would flicker, doors slammed, and the doll would randomly move about the house without anyone's aid. At first, this gave them comfort. They believed it was Okiku paying a spiritual visit. But then everyone began having nightmares. The morning after another sleepless night, Okiku's mom took a tumble down the stairs. Oh. She survived, but swore she had been pushed by the doll. Now, if she actually was, or if she just blamed the doll for her lack of sleep, it no longer mattered. Either way, the doll needed to go. Ikachi tried to burn the doll at his mother's request, but its resemblance to his sister was too strong. He couldn't harm her. Bro, I would have threw that doll in there so the quick. Shamans, they agreed to take the doll and observe it. There was no denying her hair grew and grew. After trimming it, they sent a lock of the doll's hair to be tested. The results were shocking. The doll was growing human hair. But when Ekichi returned oh, to the shaman, Okiku had vanished. A year later, the seaside town of Sapporo had not seemed to change much. It was still packed with people collecting souvenirs and trinkets, hoping to take a little piece of Japan on their journey. And tucked away in the back of a shop, inside a glass case, stood a beautiful doll. 20 inches tall, with raven black hair. The bell to the door rang, and in walked a father with his young daughter. It only took a moment before her eyes met with the doll and an exchange was made. Soon, the child was traveling back home with a new companion. She swore the doll had smiled. Her father was pleased because oh. his usually reserved daughter had a new playmate. Like and share if this video gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. See you next time. That was a good one. That was a good one. I like that one. I like that one. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, y'all. Last one for today. I know it was kind of short, but like I said, I'm just, I'm just trying this out to see how well it does, okay? Meat Canyon. I'm pretty sure we all know who Meat Canyon is, man. They, they got some pretty good ones. So, yeah. Let's check them out. Okay, last one for the day, y'all. We got lasagna, a Garfield cartoon, all right? Uh, I remember as a kid, I love Garfield. Call me weird or whatever, but Garfield was that show, so let's see what it's talking about. <clears throat> hey, Liz. Hey, John. You ready for the movie? Yeah, I've been looking forward to the movies all week. One second. I just need a couple of minutes to get some stuff sorted out inside with the animals before I leave. Ugh. Garfield, would you come in here for a moment? No. I forgot he did like lasagna. No. No. What the? Can you tell me why you decided to get into the lasagna again? Tell me why you thought that would be okay. Me. 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 I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. Why are you speaking to me, cat? Cats can't speak, can they? Can they? Good! Now make bread! 
Make bread like a good cat. Go on. Be my little baking boy. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. Something smells good. Oh my god. Baked goods. Hey, what's up? Everything going okay in there? I I heard some shouting about a bakery or something. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I just ruined a batch of bread I was working on. I'll only be a second longer. Homemade bread? Mmm, that sounds good. Please, take your time, take your time. Oh. I like how it goes from that, that animation to this animation. That's pretty cool. Garfield, oh, she's so nice. I can't believe it. Me, John Arbuckle, in love. Huh, who would have thought? I don't know, I just... I got a good feeling about her. Like she wouldn't judge me or... Uh. Like she would just accept me for who I am. She wouldn't be such a pain to train like you, Garfield. Always putting up a fight. <sighs> I'm glad those times are over. I'm just looking for a lady, Garfield. Someone who will stand by my side, but... But they're all so stupid! They pack away at my mind! They always make things so difficult! I wonder if she wants a small wedding. She better not want some big fucking wedding! That bitch! That oh, fucking he's dad, the dog. Oh, he's dead. All they think about is money. All they want is money, money, money! I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure she wants a small wedding. I, I, I'm, I'm positive. Not only a wedding, but I wonder if she wants a big family. Oh, I hope she wants what a big the... family. God, I would love a big family. Somebody to love. <laughs> Stop looking at me! I already fed you! How much more can I give you? God damn it! <laughs> I don't know, Garfield. I think she's I think she's the one. I really do. I really do. <sighs> God, the future is looking bright. Bro just put a hammer in his Behave yourself. Hey, sorry about that. Let's go. I better not fill up on popcorn. That lasagna you were talking about sounded good. <sighs> My man just transformed his whole face, bruh. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video, man. Uh, I hope y'all liked it. Uh, this was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. This was pretty fun. Uh, I would definitely say out of the three that I reacted to, I probably have to put uh, the one from Snarl, number one. That one was pretty good. I like their, I like how I like how she does it. Uh, but anyway, if y'all enjoyed this, please make sure y'all like, comment, and please subscribe. Uh, like I said, this would be a series that I would like to start. Uh, please let me know in the comments what y'all think, what y'all want to see. If y'all recommend me any videos, drop the link to those in the comments. Uh, yeah, uh, make sure y'all go follow me on Twitch. Um, yeah, so you guys take it easy. I love y'all. Stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.